Hey it's internet, welcome to another episode of Tent Stuff. I'm Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to prep a car for window tent. This video is going to cover scripting down a back window, regular doors, stickers, and also uh, old tent that customers stripped off and left tint in the seals too. So this is what I do before I put any sort of window tent on the car. Uh, make sure all the windows are working, all my stickers, all my glue, all the uh, dirt is off the car, the windows are squeegee down, all the dirt on the outside is wiped off as well. Uh, just to make sure that when I go to tint the car, I'm getting into a nice clean environment and I know what to expect. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is turn the ignition to the on position, shut off my headlights, and also turn off the radio and the fans just to save battery power on the car. Now I have my regular soap solution and a one inch razor blade, so I'm going to start at the top edge and just scrape all the way across and take my razor blade and just go in even lines all the way across making sure I get all the grit and the dirt off the window just loosen it up and then what I'm gonna do is take my squeegee and just sweep it across the window to make sure all that dirt and stuff gets swept over to the side and then I'm gonna flush it down now this is a pretty standard window you're gonna run into these more often than any other window but once in a while you're gonna run into windows with stickers and some extra tin on it that because it was tinted before or other problems so here we have a sticker on a Chrysler 200. You just take the razor blade, start in the corner, and just scrape it right off the window. You're not going to scratch the window doing this at all. Um, I've been using these 1-inch razor blades ever since I started tinning, and I've never scratched a window with a 1-inch razor blade. Same thing with these serious stickers. Any other stickers are going to come off the same way. The back glass is going to be a little different. I'll get into that at the end of the video, though. Now, this is a charger. This has those... Uh, annoying felt seals on it so when you tint it a lot of the felt will get into the window tint so what I'm doing is I'm just taking silver painters tape and taping up the main portion of the seals that way that felt is all stuck into the tape instead of getting into your window tint it's not gonna help it a hundred percent it's not gonna keep all of it out but it's gonna help a hell of a lot more than not doing anything to it it's gonna tighten up your seal a little bit too so keep that in mind Make sure you have a really even tape line all the way across. Now, I'm prepping this window like I would on the other one. This car was a little funny because it was already tinted before, and the customer stripped all the tint off the car himself, so he didn't do a very good job. So there's a lot of extra glue on the window that I'm scraping off right now, and there's also a lot more tint in the seals, which is one reason why I use light colored painter's tape, so that way you can see it a lot better um, than using a dark color painter's tape. Now I'm taking my Olfa, and the Olfa knife is the best way to get into these types of seals and scrape off the, all this old nasty tint. And also you want to make sure you get it out of all the edges including the bottom edge because it's going to come up into the tint if you don't get it out beforehand. And all these little pieces that are left behind you need to flush out of the seals that as well. You end up using a little bit more water than you want to, but for the cleanest result, that's what you want to do. And make sure you sweep all that glue and stuff over afterwards and flush it back down because it's just going to stick back to the window if you don't take care of it beforehand. Now you want to do this before you actually tint the window itself. That way you can see the window better and all the little pieces of dirt and glue that you're sweeping off the window. Now on this back glass, I already just cleaned off the outside so I could see what I'm taking off and um, take off the temporary plate. I'm using a chemical called Rapid Remover uh, to get this old tape line off the window. This one took a little bit longer. Uh, this white scrub pad that you're seeing me use is a Scotch-Brite pad. Now I specifically use the white ones because it's not going to harm defrosters or scratch the glass. You can get these through your tint supplier. Um, don't use the blue or the red um, scrub pads because those will for sure scratch your back window. I've seen it happen before. Now after you scrub it off, um, just squeegee it out. And sometimes you can go over it with your hand and feel for any dirt and stuff, but other than that, it's pretty simple to uh, prep a car. Uh, there's not much more to it. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys Monday in the next vlog.